Hey everyone, it's Alan over at Cobblers Plus and today's the day again where we do our update. Today, I've got a few extras to show you a little bit. As you can tell, one of them is definitely not mine. The thing's massive, but check it out. So first things first, let's uh, quickly cover distance that I walked. So the Allen Edmonds that have the uh, Vibram Day Night Soul um, with the non-channeled, the ones that are brutal and everything. I've got in so far as far as the distance that I walked these last couple of weeks was 16.7 miles. So nothing major quite yet. Um, but I have been noticing definitely on that day night foot there that I'm starting to wear out those stitches little by little right there. On the Vibram Eaton, doesn't seem quite as much. But noticing now I'm I do seem to be wearing a little more heavily on my left leg. So if, if you're wondering real quick, I guess, um, well, if you're wondering in general which heel wears out quicker and stuff, typically it's the leg that's a little bit shorter that wears out. It's very rare that the longer leg will wear out, but it can happen. But in most cases, it's because you're leaning towards that side a little bit more. But it also could be a combination of your walking patterns. Say at the shop here, I have certain turns and areas that I walk in as well. So when I pivot, I'll wear out that side of the shoe quicker than I will the opposite shoe. Just wanted to kind of point that out. It's kind of a little fun fact. But um, yep, yeah, that's these guys here. Not much else. I mean, heels there you can see possibly wearing and everything. But again, the stitching, I'm definitely noticing a lot more on the uh, day night on the right foot starting to wear down there. Then we switch over to the Red Wings. Now the Red Wings, I got 18.8 miles in over the last few weeks. And uh, again, the left heel is starting to finally show a lot more wear you know, for me. Overall, that's what it's looking like. As far as the stitches, obviously, we're not even uh, remotely close to them. Now, one of the downsides I have noticed with the, uh, you know, the channel stitching is maybe you can notice there's little things that get stuck in there. We got a lot of thread, little pebbles, you know, some nails sometimes laying around here at the shop. And so when, when I'm running around, I'll step in it. Plus, I've got the uh, dirt driveway at our house uh, with little pebbles too. So sometimes all that little stuff like that pebble up here can get stuck. Um, I guess if you're somebody that tends to wear your shoes um, outside the whole time and then you come inside and you're still wearing them around your house and you have hardwood floors, there may be a slim chance that you may end up kind of scratching at that floor just as a heads up for anybody that wants to get your soles channeled. Um, but otherwise, it's going to help extend that life expectancy of not wearing into those stitches. So overall, looking these over and everything, wear and everything seems to be about the same all around. Again, the left foot seems like I'm, I'm dragging that heel just a little bit more. Um, but that's the way it goes. You know, not everyone's got one leg that's the same exact length as the other. You're always gonna have some kind of difference between leg lengths, foot sizes, everything, it's gonna be different. Now, this giant one that I wanted to show you real quick, this gentleman dropped it off. Sir, I don't know if you're watching this or not, if you even watch our YouTube videos, but I just had to show it because I asked him how long he was wearing it. Now, obviously, you can tell this is a fairly large size. It's about a 14, I believe. I didn't even double check, but uh, you can see on his day night, so it's the original factory stitching. It's uh, getting pretty worn out right there on that outer edge. He's worn through the stitches. Now, these are still holding up nicely just because he is... Uh, not having issues with the soles separating yet. Again, that adhesive is going to hold up very well even after you wear out through the stitches and everything like he did right on this side. So there's not much separation. Now, I'm not gonna be trying to pull it up because, you know, well, I mean, I can technically, but just pulling it just a little bit there to the side, it's not separating 
at all there. So it's holding up nicely, but that kind of gives you some perspective. Uh, so there's a high probability that he may actually wear through that sole further along before it actually starts to come apart. So channeled stitching, it's not a necessity, but it really helps a lot. It is definitely a good upgrade, I would say, especially on a pair of shoes if you're planning to have them for an extended period of time, just because I have come across some of these uh, shoes with day night uh, and other rubber soles where the stitching was not channeled. And obviously you wear through the stitches and that thing can separate. You end up getting into a, you know, a puddle or something like that where there may be some extra salt mixed in that liquid in that water there and it may start deactivating the adhesive. Or if you accidentally left them in your car, you switched them out late evening and then the next day you forgot to take them out, it got hot, sunny, and the car heated up, it can deactivate that adhesive and without those stitches holding it together, it's not gonna, it's not gonna hold up very well at all. But again, like I always say, don't leave your shoes or boots in the car. Don't. I don't care if it's snowing outside. I don't care what kind of temperature it is. Don't do it because the car temperature interior could be very different. Here in Colorado, we get some snow. All of a sudden, it's sunny. The snow is going to reflect that sunlight. The interior of your car can heat up very quickly, even when there's snow on the ground. So just as a heads up, don't leave it in your car. But that's kind of the update. There's not much else as far as like the measurements. I wish there was a way for me to get inside and measure the thickness of the ball to foot. But unfortunately, I don't have that kind of capability. Um, but it definitely, you can definitely tell that they're starting to wear in the ball of the foot there. Now comparing to this gentleman's here, you could really definitely see a lot more wear in the ball of the foot for him. But that's kind of the track that we're on. See, He's getting more wear on his sole, for example. He's worn through the stitches there already on the side, wearing through a couple of areas here. But his heels are actually pre pretty all right. So this indicates that he is somebody that tends to land on the ball of the foot a little bit more. When he lands, he doesn't land on the edge of his heel like a lot of people do. He tends to land a little bit more flat-footed directly onto the ball of the foot. This is what can happen sometimes with the flat foot, for example. Um, but it's it's not necessarily a bad thing or anything like that. I'm not trying to say anything along those lines. It's just one of those types of walking patterns that some people may have. There's a lot of different people out there with different walking patterns, and I just wanted to mention that. Overall, uh, so far these things have been phenomenal. Um, again, we haven't had another set of you know another run of snow hit us yet these last couple of weeks where I was able to actually test them out. It was it was kind of like this weird snowstorm that we got that I didn't even get a chance to even test and test them out for you to show on video. Um, again, that last video I had. Uh, it just it was so messy and everything but i'm gonna try i'm gonna pause the video on my end of the recording at the moment and if i'm able to during editing see if i can fit it in somehow and hopefully edit it up somehow where it actually shows more detail so let me just pause it real quick and s hopefully it works hey everyone all right so hope you guys like my hat but uh today is uh, like i mentioned in my previous video we had that little bit of a snowstorm and everything and this is going to be recorded to be posted in the middle of the video i'm recording at the shop that you're watching but uh right now it's 20 degrees outside so it's not as cold as it was yesterday it's a little above freezing basically which is great but i'm gonna be testing these out in the snow real quick for you to see what they're like i grabbed an extra pair of socks because again these are shoes and kind of sucks having snow falling into these shoes i wish i had a pair of boots that i can resold to test them on but all my shoe all my boots are a little bit different construction or don't need resoling yet so anyways let's turn on the camera all right, so it's a little too bright, I guess you can say, but uh, as far as testing on the snow, there really isn't much I can tell you. I mean, it definitely, definitely seems like the day night has a little better, better grip, in other words, in that snow, but I won't be able to like really test, test. Let me see if I can twist on my foot. Okay. Well, it doesn't twist easily on the left foot, which is the day night. Uh, fire bomb definitely twists a little bit more going in circles woo all right it's all correct yeah the vibram sole definitely if you're twisting around on it really spins you out the right one day night it's 
stops and slows down a little bit quicker. So definitely holds up better in the snow, like I said. Um, and I believe we'll do the same thing in the muck when it comes to that because the pegs on the day night stick out just a little bit more with the vibrant ones uh, just a little bit more I guess you can say in shallower but let's see how the imprints are cool I love the imprints from the day night vibrant doesn't really leave that imprint though but also just to show you what we got for snow yeah, that's not bad that gets knocked off very easily so not much snow there um seems like the vibram actually kept a little more snow in there a little more packed in there but when i walked in um after turning my car on seems like the uh both of them did pretty good compared to other sole options out there with the snow getting stuck in the sole I hope that worked you know just just wanted to give you guys a heads up but overall these shoes are uh they're getting worn they're every single day marcus is seeing me in these uh people have seen some po uh, posts with me uh, wearing these uh you know so they're holding up great i like the look of these ones with the red laces and the red stitching and everything like that but the feel on these unfortunately i just i am not too happy about it i could definitely feel as if right underneath here under that uh heel base there i have to every now and then kick up kick up my foot and just kind of check to see it almost feels like this heel base is trying to pop off on me and it's just like this weird sensation right under that arch and it's mainly the left foot the right foot every now and then i feel the same thing but i have to check the heel bases there's no issues whatsoever that adhesive that i put on there is holding up nicely again even though i trust my adhesive I don't know if I trust the uh, original factory heel bases at that same level. Now, I've worked with Allen Edmonds for a very long time. I've been in the cobbler industry my whole life, but uh, companies can change things up a little bit. Maybe the blend of different uh, composites or whatever that they're mixing in there can change up or something different, you know, time periods, and you can't predict it. Now, the adhesives, usually if something changes, our suppliers will notify us and we can make an informed decision on whether we're going to continue being able to use it because it was beneficial or if it was not beneficial and they're trying to cut cost we're gonna be like nope out the door we're gonna to have to find something else so and if you're wondering we use jet set unfortunately that doesn't come in any small containers at the moment at least that i can find here in the u.s with any of our vendors it just comes in in a gallon sorry got interrupted there by a phone call but um overall again that's the issue with the with the heel bases on that. As far as the adhesive, you know what it is now. There are other great brands if you are wanting to do any kind of work yourself or you need a, any adhesives for emergencies. You can definitely check out my other video about uh, you know minor repairs and everything, what we recommend, the type of adhesives and everything we use. Uh, there's other great brands out there. So check out that video if you have more questions about adhesives in particular and being able to do your own minor repairs because everyone knows that um, you know there are certain types of constructions of shoes even if they're good you're well to the heel bases are secured differently some are secured on the outside like these ones here are and then um, mo almost all the allen edmonds are like that there's only a handful that are secured on the inside like where we pull up the insole and run nails in so every now and then these corner pieces tend to come up a little bit it's not a big deal you can you can uh, use some adhesive a little bit on there but check that video out before i make this one too much longer otherwise uh this one here obviously i prefer wearing a little bit more uh just because the the way everything's holding up i may have to redo the laces because i just don't have enough lace to do the burluti knot on it so it loosens up uh, about halfway through the day and i have to retie it and everything it drives me nuts i hate having to retie my laces i want to tie them once that's it and a burluti knot is perfect for that but However, that's, uh, that, that's a different story. You could also check out that video. We did a video about different lace patterns and, I, and that I believe I showed the Berluti knot as well. Uh, but I'm gonna have to relace these like in a different pattern and uh, hopefully that will probably give me a little bit extra, extra lace to work with. Otherwise, I'm loving these guys so far with that midsole and everything. They look a little bit bigger and bulkier, but obviously with an everyday wear type of thing, I'm a lot more happier. Now, if you're making a decision on resoling your shoes between doing a midsole or a low profile, no midsole, 
if it's a shoe you're going to wear every day my recommendation personally so far is go with the midsole option you can do either a leather or a composite material either direction will work fine uh, otherwise if you are not going to be wearing the shoes daily it's maybe like uh, every once in a while type of thing because of certain weather conditions or event type of stuff and you need it to look a little bit more slim and low profile then go without a midsole if you go through us for example on our website uh, usually we'll require you to select a midsole option um, but if you're really not wanting that option when you purchase the service through our website just select uh, black for example and then the notes section you're easily able to write down no midsole on there or you could always give us a call or email us beforehand as well but if you want any of these services done whether it's the channeled version or not channeled version you can find that on our website cobblersplus.com under the um, services tab there and you'll be able to find all the different sole options you can pick from the vibram eaton or the day night sole or a bunch of other ones and obviously our industry has a lot of variants options and varieties so you might want to check through and maybe something might not be listed that uh, that you're wanting done maybe a type of sole or service Again, there's a lot of options out there and we just can't have it all listed all at once. It just takes a little bit of time to fine tune everything uh, to properly list it. So you can always, again, just shoot us an email or give us a call and all of our contact information is on our website. Again, thank you for watching though. I hope you enjoyed this video. Not too much other updates. Hope those other clips of me testing it out in the snow and the ice and everything worked out. If it didn't, I do apologize. Hopefully we get hit with another snowstorm here soon and by the next video, hopefully I'll have something up for you to be able to actually see and uh, work, uh, work out a good detail. At least we know enough about, uh, you know, being able to wear these indoors. You're able to check out some of the previous videos to see how these held up for me wearing around on a slippery floor. It was a, a world of difference, that's for sure, if you're watching this for the first time. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that thumbs up button because it helps our channel grow and lets uh, YouTube know that uh, you want to see more. Share the video as well. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Um, all, all the uh, links are down below. Well, I, I don't think Instagram is necessarily because I just put the username down. But it would be Cobblers Plus CO on Instagram if you want to find us there. Otherwise, on Facebook, it's just Cobblers Plus. So again, thank you. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time.